Guys, look what I found behind a breakable wall in Anfum. Data for Frey. Cool beans. Speaking of Anfun, here we are in the Feather Cross room. Let's uh, let's see if we can cross with the feather. Because this item might be something we need very soon. What is it? It's a sacred orb. Well, guys, we found Anfun's sacred orb. <laughs> what are you? Berserker. Um, well, alright. That's a thing we got. Mulbrook's awake! Let's talk to her for a while. Inside the boat is a soul gate. The one with the nine soul seals. The entrance may be hidden somewhere in the... Oops. There's an enemy that can't be taken out with weapons. So you have to defeat it in a way that doesn't involve weapons, huh? Like, you have to solve a rail first. Or, you have to attack it mentally, maybe. Or maybe you have to squash it? Hmm. Is that all she had to say? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, you have to beat it in a way that doesn't involve weapons. Well, uh, we can get to Fenrir pretty quickly, so uh, let's look into it a little more, I guess. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I got squished. What's the deal with all these bullets? Ow. I wonder if I can get it get under him somehow. No. What a mystery this guy is. Oops. I don't think the answer has anything to do with Pepper. <laughs> it would be funny if it did, though. Uh, what is the answer here?
Uh, well, I'm, bes I'm behind it now. allowed back here. Ah, what was that? Maybe I maybe I'm just wrong about this. I think we may need some more hints before we take that guy on. This is some new inf this is some new information here. We may have to talk to those two, so uh, I guess we're going to the Gate of the Dead. room Isis was in. Still empty. Fairy who holds the key. All right. Hang on a second. This, whoops. This wall is breakable. What do we get unicorn data. All right. Uh huh. That just confirms what we already know. We need the Lamp of Time to be able to free Alvis. Huh. Uh, so I got this data by uh, going in that room over there. It was empty, but I still... I still got his data. I mean, look at this. 
just it's just a throw. <laughs> Weird. Guys, I found something. You can get into the buried fortress through here. She sees the final land's vortex, a heavy price being paid, and then a memory of the final gate being pried upon by excessive power and the price it demands, and murderous blood-drenched intent. That's all the pieces of the prophecy. Now, how do we deal with all of this? What is it that we need to do? I don't know. How can we get in here? Or how can we get up to that, uh, that life seal? I must have my answers. Come this far already. Infernal Fiend bites into the neck of the Colossal Dragon. I do have to wonder. Now that I have the feather, I can get up there no problem. So let's do just that. Sure are a lot of enemies here. Alright, what do you have to say? bracelet. Oh, <laughs> that's the Mega Man 1 box art. That's, that's funny. Derpity derp derp. What is this? Smash vases in one strike. That's nice. All right. Um, let's get out of here. Oop. Ow. Why... Why is this being... Why is this moving now? Is there something behind it I can get? I don't know. What is the deal with this room? What a strange room. Within the belly of the crawling infernal fiend. Yeah, that's the...
That's a thing I was looking for, but... Why, what was the purpose in me getting this to move? Oh, uh, what's this? There was a pedestal inside this, uh, inside this emblem here. Ow. All right. Oh, get on out of there. What is this? It's a crystal skull! Not quite what I was hoping for, but let's read what it has to say. Something is amiss. There exists two mothers here, and two mothers' bodies. Okay. Weird. Side note, now we've killed Anu, uh, the corridor of blood branching off of the ancient chaos has uh, been splattered with blood. Thor also has something new to say. That would be the Dark Star Lord. Uh, it all really all hinges on getting that vase in the buried fortress somehow. Something came to mind. So, I'm here in the Corridor of Blood. I have a text from... Let's see. Uh, it's from... Izanagi. It says, a long, long path to the bottom of the earth. To break the seal, chant the words of my mantras. Sun, moon, and sea. Let's try it. Yes! Guys, progress at last. Well, I say this, but only because I've been wandering around for over an hour. But yeah, here we are. Eternal Prison. Let's see. Now. What's this? No telling. There is another uh, Yuga circle. Stepping through a gate where what you hold is stolen will be counted. But step through a gate where it is not, and we shall not. Oop. Ah! I got crunched. I guess we better uh, get <laughs> try again from Valhalla. So yeah, to get to that entrance, you uh, you go to Valhalla and turn the uh, corridor of blood vertically. And now, load up my mantras. Okay. Yeah.
Uh, okay, the Holy Grail was stolen from me. So yeah, I can't use it right now. Just got to uh, carry on from where we are. From where we are now. What is all this? So, we have a water pot here, and we have text about a water pot. Disaster was wrought from virtue and sin in balance. The age of copper. The Kamandalu water pot is tolerance. So, yeah. Copper. Copper? I have no idea. Ooh, treasure chest. The Lord's throne that ascends to Nibiru is in the Dark Star Lord's Pyramid. The word needed to climb into the throne are hidden in footprints. Footprints concealed by the Dark Star Lord. I already know that. Okay, what is this, and will I be able to keep it later? It's the map. Water carrier's room. Okay, let's see. I can climb back up here, which is good. What is this? Netty. You must pass through seven gates. The order in which you must pass through changes. The words signifying this order have not changed. Divine Chalice, Golden Gleaming Wrist Guard, Lunar Breast Mount, Rustic Clothing, Golden Wings, Something Repurposed, and a Glove of Power. That sounds very important. Hmm. Okay, Ameno Mikakushi Red Light. We have the we have the names of those we have the names of those gates. They're uh, they're listed in the uh, Divine Fortress. Also, I'm out of. Uh... Never mind you, I guess. The Duat Room and the Room of Judgment go hand in hand. No life can be guaranteed to those who do not possess the Proof of Judgment. Hecaton Karis. Alright, well, first we need to find a way out of this place. Stepping through a gate where what you hold is stolen will be counted, but step through a gate where it is not, and we shall not. We are in the Ice Fire treetop, and we have our stuff back. Okay, time to go heal. Alright, 
let's see. we go. Oh yeah, I didn't buy weights. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Since we're in the Divine Fortress, let's, uh, yeah. We're gonna need to record, uh, all seven of these, I think. No, not that one. That's about four fairies. No. At least I thought they were all in the Divine Fortress. Let's see... I'm gonna need to uh, keep some of my notes elsewhere.
Let's see, Kali Yuga is the Age of Steel now, blunted. Uh... text. Okay, Divine Chalice. Golden Gleaming Wrist Guard. Lunar Breast Mount. Rustic Clothing. Golden Wings, something repurposed, Glove of Power. Alright, let's see. I do not know which crests signify which words. Ragrior Sigrun Rustic Skogal Regan Leaf, something repurposed. Gondol, Golden Wings. Svafa, Glove of Power. That's all seven. Alright, let's go heal. Go heal and uh, let's return to the underworld. Through Valhalla, of course. Where else? And once I get there, I'm gonna want to scan that gate. I'm assuming the order of the gates is the order in which uh, I want my items taken. Down we go. Falanda Forad. That means something. Uh, what does that mean? It was from the Ancient Chaos. <laughs> At least I don't think I have. Yeah, a dangerous pitfall fell on the forehead. At the bottom of the small weight's rest of her, the devourer of corpses. Alright. Ow. Go away. I see. Oop. Pressvelger! Is that the guardian of this place? What is what is the story here? I don't know, but uh, 
I'm evidently not allowed to fight him yet, so whatever. That's an emblem for, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look through that. Let's see. Raugrior, I think. And I just got sent back out. Dang it. Okay, I have weights now, so, uh, let's keep investigating. Ugh. Annoying enemies are annoying. just want to be up here. What does that do for? That raised up a... a, uh... Oh! Now I can, uh, jump across. Okay. Let's see, where are we? Gatekeeper's room. can hit you so I can get your soul stone. Yeah. 30. Very close to getting a life up, which is good. The duot room and the room... I already read about that. Ow. What is here? A block? Whoa! What's this gate? Let's see, uh... Brynhild, maiden custodian of the Divine Chalice. Okay, so, this is Brynhild. Gatekeeper's room. Okay, I just lost my, uh, lost my gauntlets. All right, new thing. Ow. Where am I now? Coor. Let's see.
what's the deal here? All right, well, let's don our clay doll outfit and sink to the bottom here. Okay. What's this? I don't know what that did. A rage-filled face warped with murderous intent. They who wield excessive power. What? Not quite sure what that means. This is, uh, Zvafa's Gate. Zvafa is not where we want to go just yet. That is, uh, that mound of earth is probably Socket's, uh, tomb. Death awaits you if you descend below. Alright, then it won't descend below. I descended below, and I got myself killed. Pretty great. I love it when that happens. But yeah, I think uh, we are going to end things off uh, for this episode, at least. And I will meet you back down there uh, with, uh, with more clues. Okay? See you later, guys.